I am Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country. We're at 8621 Lake Underhill Road, Orlando, Florida, 32825. And that's it right there. From there, all the way to there. Purpose of this video is to give you an idea of what the land looks like, what 3.21 acres, residential, zoned R1A, right next to St. Stephen Presbyterian Church, right there. So we want to get an idea of how big the lot is. It's half the size of this lot right here. It goes all the way back to the corner. And we're going to walk that. I'll give you a feel for the neighborhood and the area. I can't think of a better way to show you than right here on the printout. There's the church we just looked at. There's our lot right there. Half the size of this church lot, as you'll see in the video. Heavily wooded all the way back right on Lake Underhill Road. Property is in flood zone AE. That's inside the 100-year flood plain right there. You can see the church was too until they built and raised it up a little bit. All these properties are, all these houses are, so you will have to have flood insurance, but you can see lots of properties around need that as well. There's a picture worth a thousand words right there, huh? So as I said, what we're looking to do is give you a feel for the neighborhood and the area. We're gonna go all the way over to that corner in a minute. But I don't wanna give you a feel for just how big this lot is. It's cleared. We're about halfway through right now. So we're talking one single family home all the way down there, all the way back there. That is enough area for you to feel like you're in your own private forest. And along the way, just give you a feel for who your neighbor will be. Been by here a couple of times. Parking lot is almost always empty. So I have a feeling they are good, quiet neighbors. This is only about five minutes away from the 408 Expressway, which runs east and west through Orlando. From there, about another five or 10 minutes to the 417, which runs north and south downtown. Is no more than 20 minutes away. The beaches, Cocoa Beach, world famous Cocoa Beach, the Cocoa Beach Pier, probably 45 to 50 minutes away. Walt Disney World, the other way, probably 45 minutes away as well. We are centrally located here. Great place in Orlando. One of the places near here on Lake Underhill. If you keep going down that way, you're going to get to this town center. And that has got every restaurant you've ever heard of. Big movie theater I go to all the time. Lots of shopping. You can spend your whole life within four or five miles of this place. And then just get on the expressway for everything else. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you a feel for how big this goes back. So from there all the way way down to there a wide angle a little bit there are so few three plus acre parcels here in orlando left this is a good way to give you a side view into the woods right here So your house will go in there somewhere. And it'll end up at something like this. You can see they raised that area right there where the building was. And almost, but not quite, another way to look at it would be from there to the sign to the church, this whole area, all the way back, would be where your house would be. Taxes are only about $870 a year. 
can see we've got some cypress trees, which people love. It's also a sign of a little low-lying area. And obviously, the church dealt with it well. And you can too. We're walking along the side here, doing things that most people won't bother to do. But we take the video. You can see those are maple trees right there. Again, that's a sign that the roots get wet. And we're still going back. And we're going back. And we're going back. And we're still not to the end of it. So who knows exactly where, but I would say farther back here. And if you build back here, you probably won't clear this area out. So you'll have a nice buffer around you. No one will ever build. Or if you're a developer, you could turn this into a subdivision. I only can't even think about how many houses we'd fit in here. Well, we want to see why the land's a little low. We come back here and look. So it's a little higher here, a little lower. You can see it's a little higher there as well. And we've got the low-lying area here. I'm sure you'll end up with a topographical survey, which unfortunately the sellers don't have. And that'll tell you exactly where you can build and where you can't. Lots of birds you can hear and see. Most people will end up building closer to the road, I'm sure, just because it makes the driveway cheaper and less fill. Imagine having this as your backyard. All right, let's go back. Okay, we were just over there. Now we're going back. Give you a different view. What it would be like. I'll tell you, you build here, people love this location. We're just a couple of minutes away from Valencia State College. And of course, the University of Central Florida is the third largest university in America. Feeling like your house will end up somewhere in there. Beautiful. Okay, we were just over there. I imagine your house will go somewhere right in here. And we're gonna walk around up on Lake Underhill. It is a busier road, but you can see lots of people back up to the busy road. When I say lots of people, I mean hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of houses back right up to this. Yours is gonna have all that buffer and you'll be back there somewhere. So it will be quiet and give you good access. Because everyone wants to live near a road so you can get in and out quick. All right, we're up on the front. We're going to have to guess. You look at about how far that is, and I'd say we're going to go down about how far we think it is. And of course, this is the front. You can see it does dip down a little bit in there. And yes, we're walking, 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 walking. The whole subdivision I live in is at 3.2 acres. And you're just gonna have one house here.
And we've got some land down there that goes a ways too. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna approximate your lot being right about here somewhere for the corner. Cross, of course, we've got Rio, Pinar East. So we've got from about there all the way down to there. All right, we're across the street now. Your lot right about there. You can see we've got the potential for some pretty good drainage here. This is not a small drainage ditch. Alright, we're walking along the busy part of the road. The schools here are Little River Elementary School, 2.1 miles away, which is an above average elementary school. We have Union Park. Middle School, 7.6 miles away. And then we have Colonial High School, which is about 5.3 miles away for the ninth grade center. And then Colonial High School is 8.3 miles away. So if you were even thinking about buying vacant land out here in East Orlando, we want this one here on Lake Underhill. If you want me to find another one, you need to call me Top Orlando Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. Been listing and selling vacant land out here every day, full time for 34 years. And I'm emphasizing this because it's easier to get a feel for just how far back that goes. I've sold thousands and thousands of properties. Chances are I can help you too. You should probably call me.